Alright, so let's do a weak acid, strong base titration problem. So here it says, calculate the pH at the following points of the titration. We tell you the volume and the molar concentration of um, you know, acetic acid, which is a weak acid. And they give you the Ka, so if you're not sure if it's a weak acid or a strong acid, if they give you a Ka, you know it's a weak acid. Um, so they give us the molar concentration of volume of the weak acid, they give us the molar concentration of the base, and we're going to add different volumes of the base and then calculate the pH at each point. So for the first one, before the addition of any NaOH. So we don't have any NaOH, all we have is a weak acid. Uh, so we know how to find the pH of a weak acid, right? So we'll call this, this one. Um, we have a Ka, so we can write an acid ionization reaction. So you take your acid and water, and you get what you get hydronium and the weak base. And we know what the Ka expression looks like. You guys are experts at this now. Right, products over reactants. We have our hydronium concentration and our acetic acid all over. There we go. All right, so we can make an ice table. Um, for the ice table, all we need is our initial molar concentration. We don't care about the volume, we just need the initial molar concentration, which is 0.5 molar. So we're going to be 0.5 molar here. Ice table looks like our usual ice table. We don't have any hydronium to start off with, we don't have any of the acetate ion. It's going to change by x. These guys are going to change by plus x and plus x. At equilibrium, we're going to have 0.5 minus x and then x and x. And then we want to solve for x. X is going to be our hydronium concentration. So we're going to take this bottom row and plug it into our equilibrium constant expression over here. And we get, what do we get? 1.8 times that negative 5 is equal to x squared over 0.5 minus x. What do you think? You want to make that approximation? Sure. Let's make our approximation. Unless you want to do the quadratic, the quadratic is never wrong. You can always do the quadratic. All right, so if we make that approximation, cancel that, multiply over, we have 1.8 times times the negative 5 times 0.5 is equal to x squared. Take the square root of both sides, that's the square root of this whole thing here, and solve for x. And when we work that out, what do you get for x? 3 times the negative 3 is 0.0 times 10 to the negative 3. So that's equal to x, which is equal to our hydronium concentration. It's also equal to the acetate ion, but we're trying to find pH, so we really want to find the hydronium concentration. And then to calculate pH after that, we have pH equals what? Negative log of 3 times 10 to the negative 3. So when we work out the pH, what do we get for pH? At 2.52. So it's still very acidic. All right, so that's part A. So that's just regular weak acid ice table problem. And part B is going to be a little bit different. So in part B, now we start adding some, some uh, strong base. So we want to find the moles of the acid and the moles of the base. So you go back up, moles of acid is going to be the molar concentration, uh, which is what, 0.5, it's going to be 0.5 molar, and the volume that we're using is 20 mils, and so that's not going to change throughout the, the course of this reaction, so we have 20 mils, which is 0 0.020 liters, so right when we look all that out, what do we get, 0 0.01 moles, 0 0.10 moles of acid, of our weak acid, our acetic acid. Find the moles of your strong base, so the sodium hydroxide, that's our strong base. We also started off with 0.5 molar. And then in the second part, it says we have 8 mils. So we're going to use 8 mils, so that's 0 0.008. 0 0.008 liters. 
going to multiply that through and get 0 0.0040 moles of your strong base. All right, so if you think about the reaction that's happening here, you have your acetic acid and it's reacting with a strong base, right? And what are we making here? We're making some um, sodium acetate. Put some sodium. That's our weak base, right? And also some water. That's neutral. So here's our weak acid. This is our strong base. If you don't like, like to write out the, the reaction every time, you don't have to. If you just want to remember weak acid plus strong base gives you a weak base, that's fine. That, that will get you where you need to go. All right, so I know how many moles of weak acid I'm starting off with. I know how many moles of weak base I have to start off with. I'm trying to figure out how many, I'm sorry, I know, I know how much weak acid I have, how much strong base. I'm trying to figure out how many moles of weak base I have. So I'm starting off here with 0 0.010, and here I have 0 0.004. And I don't have any of this to start off with. I don't have any. I'm going to use up the small, whichever one has a smaller amount. So I'm going to use up all of the strong stuff, all of the sodium hydroxide, because I only have 0 0.004 moles of it. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.004 moles over here. So I end up with 0 0.006 moles on this side. No strong base, I used to follow that. And if I subtract the reactants, I'm going to add on the product side. So I add 0 0.004 moles of my weak base. So I get 0 0.004 moles here of my base. Um, so now I have weak acid, I have weak base. I can figure out what the pH is by using the Henderson Hasselbalch equation. Henderson Hasselbalch tells you pH equals pKa plus the log of the base over the acid log of the base over the acid. So I know the base of oh, yeah, base over acid. And it's always the weak base. Weak, usually it should be concentration, um, but you'll, you'll be fine if you just put the moles in and you, you can skip the part about trying to find the total volume because the total volume is going to be the same for both. So you have moles over liters divided by moles over liters. Your liters are going to cancel anyway. So one thing we need to find is the pKa. How do we find a pKa? pKa is just negative log of the Ka negative log of the Ka, which is what, 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So your pKa should be 4.74. All right, so you can plug that into the henderson hasselbeck equation. So I have 4.74 plus the log of the base, which is what, 0 0.004, over the acid, 0 0.006. Check the zeros there at the end. The zeros. Um, so when we work all that out, what do we get? 4.57. So you can see the pH is definitely going up. Um, pretty slowly, but it's just getting there. 